Hello and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Dr. Katherine Constant and I am the author of the book Lady Wisdom Speaks. Lady Wisdom Speaks. Today I am here with you because I have a wonderful book called Abba, Abba by Dr. Matthew Stevenson III. Abba, Experience God as Father and Redeem Your Failure, Hurt, and Pain by Matthew L. Stevenson III. Dr. Stevenson is a powerful governmental prophet and apostolic overseer. He is the senior pastor of All Nations Worship Assembly, and he has written this book to help us to gain that relationship with our Heavenly Father. Jesus called him Abba, Abba Father, and Jesus even told us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven heaven said so to call him heavenly father our father and so dr stevenson the third he has written this book to give us more insights and knowledge on how to understand our relationship with our heavenly father our relationship with our heavenly father is not the same like our relationship with our earthly father it's even better because God has given us an inheritance. He's given us blessings. God is such a God that he'll keep you in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on him. He's our strong deliverer. I love him this morning. And we need to tap into it and to decide on how we're going to relate with God. Are we going to relate with him as father or is he going to be our judge so i think i would prefer to relate to god as father heavenly father because there's so many great benefits that go along with having a heavenly father because he is the great i am he is omniscient and omnipresent he is the mighty god he is the righteous judge he says, I am that I am. And so to have the I am that I am, to have Jehovah God as your heavenly father. What a wonderful position to be in. And Dr. Matthew L. Stevenson explains it in depth in his book. It says, experience God as father and redeem your failure, hurt, and pain. That sounds great to me. Experience God as father and redeem your failure, hurt, and pain. And in the back he says, um, your brokenness is the key to knowing God as Father. God has an identity. He does not want to be known as a higher power 
or confined to our limited understanding and judgment of him. Those who want to know the name of God and most importantly want to know God as he desires to be known can discover him as Abba. And it says here, Matthew L. Stevenson III captures all the teachings of Jesus that demonstrated the Father. This book also highlights how aggressively Satan distorts the Father role to fracture people's lives in the areas of identity, security, failures, confidence. Arbor addresses the key to a more fulfilling worship life as well as understanding God's heart toward the fatherless. A revelation of the Father's heart of God is needed more now than ever. And I agree with him on that. Many of people have suffered from the hands of their father with molestation, with abandonment, abuse. And so people's attitudes towards father, that idea of father, they have had so much trauma that it's hard for them to relate to God as father, Abba Father. That you have the right to not have your right mind. But God is such a God. That he'll keep you in perfect peace if your mind has stayed on him. And there are mornings that I just wake up grateful for sanity. And just grateful for the ability to think and to judge and decipher. One of the, one of the devils, and I don't want to cause a riot in here. But one of the hell's objective for you is to make you lose your mind. But one of God's commitments to you is that he is a mind regulator. Hey! He'll deliver you from psychological warfare and thoughts that want to drain you. I'm telling you, he'll keep your mind. Come on. Somebody ought to praise him for a sound mind. Whoa! My soul loves you. I said you ought to praise him for a sound mind. Come on, some of you, hell is working overtime to drive you clean out of your mind. But if there's anybody in here that knows he is the Prince of Peace, come on, he'll give you a peace that passes understanding. You ought to praise him because you still have your mind. Hey, hey, glory to God. I said you ought to praise him for a sound mind. Come on, you ought to praise him for a sound mind. You know your name. You know where you live. You can distinguish an enemy from a foe. You got your sound mind. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm just grateful this morning for a sound mind. It is something that people take for granted. Glory, but I'm just grateful that I have my mind. But I want you to know that my Heavenly Father is not like your earthly father. He's better. He's kind. He's loving. He loved you so much that he made a way for us to have a relationship with him through his son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus is reigning and ruling. Jesus now has you and I as his brothers and sisters. We are now the bride of Christ. We are his. And... Um, Father God has created this relationship for you and for me. And uh, in his book, Abba, he then, it's so nice. I just like seeing that word, Abba. Abba. It's Hebrew for father or daddy. Daddy God. And in it, I'm going to read some of the contents, what's the chapter titles have to say. Chapter 1 is the I am that I am, Abba's identity. Chapter 2, our loving father, beloved children. Chapter 3, a liberating father. Chapter 4, our inseparable father. Chapter 5, our merciful father. Chapter 6, our protective father. Chapter 7, our trustworthy father. Chapter 8, our involved father. Chapter 9, our consistent father. And chapter 10, our good father. And it says inheritance with that. 
Yes, we have an inheritance through Jesus Christ. And our Abba Father has prepared that for us. Now, some of you should be insane. You should be a lunatic. But God has been working to make sure that he keeps your mind. Hallelujah. What would you do if I told you you're about to get mental miracles? God's about to blow on your thought life like you've never seen it before. And he's about to allow you to think the next level. Innovation is coming to you. Ideas are coming to you. Courage is coming to you. He's about to do it in your mind, in your mind, in your mind. Why won't you help me? I said he's about to do it in your mind, your mind. You're going to see yourself different. Hey, hey, hey. You're going to see your season different. You're going to see your circumstance different. Come on, if he can do it in your mind, he can do it in your world. You can, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Get ready for victory in your thought life. I can't hear nobody shouting in here. Come on, it used to be a place for tears. I said, I mean that. Woo! Glory. I said, I mean that. He's given us the victory in our mind. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell has been trying to headhunt some of you. But God's aligning your mind. Glory to God. Get ready for that. Peace is coming to you. Glory. Hallelujah. He's our strong deliverer. And this is, it says here, this is what this book is about. You coming into the knowledge of your identity by first understanding God's identity. Hallelujah. So this book will help you to understand your relationship with God and your identity with God. God really is and how God loves, protects, and he honors us. Now, as I continue to read and go through this book, I'm going to highlight different parts because I think it's good for us to know our Heavenly Father. And I want us to grow together because this is all a part of our wealth, our being able to accept the fact that our Father is wealthy. He is the great I Am. He's God. And He can do anything if we believe. But He wants us to believe Him. His first commandment is to love the Lord your God and serve only Him. And then love your neighbor as you love yourself. So we need to develop that relationship with God. To love Him and love Him as Abba, Daddy, Father, Papa, Father. Hallelujah. That means that every day we need to pray to Him. Every day we need to read the Word of God because the Word will reveal to us who our Heavenly Father is. We will get to know Him. And then we will get to know His voice and hear Him and understand. When I say hear His voice, you'll, you'll get the sense, your spirit. It will be a spirit-to-spirit -spirit relationship with Him where your spirit will know that He is speaking to you. Hallelujah. He said, be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. We are so grateful that you have made it possible that we can have a personal relationship with you. And we want from this day forth to know you as Abba Father. Open up our eyes to see you and our ears to hear you and our heart to receive your love. We pray these things in the mighty name of Jesus, your Son. Amen and Amen trying to make you aware of something that's going to advance you past enemy barriers and barriers can be educational barriers can be economic they can be emotional they can be financial but i just sense in my heart that we are in a barrier breaking time and for many of you your barriers have been the prison of your potential and the prison of your purpose one of the names of God is the breaker. Micah 2.13. The breaker is gone up before them and has broken up and passed through the gates. Listen to me. Get ready to break barriers. 
It's going to be new, it's going to be scary, it's going to be unfamiliar, but you are under a barrier-breaking mandate. And nothing will happen that you are used to. God is preparing us to do things that we are not used to doing, but it's a barrier breaking. Somebody's got to do it. Come on, look at somebody and say, somebody's got to do it. That's what paid in full is about. Uh, and I encourage the 830 that one of the reasons why I pray, if you look out there now, you'll see my name, my kids. You'll see some kids I don't have up there. Um, because I, I use my personal reason for sowing into paid in full is that I teach myself to break barriers. And whatever was my greatest anything, I want to always be sure that I don't worship my personal trophies. Uh, many of you are not advancing in life because of the last thing you did well. But if you will be willing to turn away from an old victory, God can give you a new one. And he can shift you by breaking your barriers. Get ready. God is looking for people that will break barriers. I'm talking about marital barriers. Some of you come from families where folk don't stay married longer than two years. And he's looking for people that will endure past that barrier, that educational barrier. Many of you were born into families where nobody went to college and nobody uh, got a Some of you were born into homes where your, your, your predecessors lived and died under the slavery of rent. They, they never knew what it was to pay anything off. But in the name of Jesus, you are going to be the first to break the barrier. It is upon you. It is upon you. It is upon you. Come on. It is incumbent upon you to break through. Say, I receive that. That's what we do. And we're getting ready. I'm going to show you next week. Uh, my initial plans for what we're doing on our land. Uh, but I'm asking that if you are participating in paid in full, put your name out there. And a part of what I'm doing from now up until March 25th, and even after that if need be, is I'm crying out to God. We're praying for you that you change barriers, that the Spirit of God destroys limitations in your life and gives you the right to explore what could be when you break out of this level. So I'm believing God for authors and CEOs and innovators. I'm even believing God for inventors. That's a realm of uh, prophetic power where I believe God can give men and women dreams that solve things, copyrights and, and uh, favor with wicked men in high places. Uh, so we're crying out to God every week in prayer uh, concerning your financial status and and your financial power. So put your name out there on my weeping wall. And we go out there and we cry out to God. Uh, I, I really believe that God is looking for some financial deliverers. Um, it, it's not going to be until you decide that poverty is just as evil as perversion. And just as wicked as sickness. Some of us think that sickness and disease is really bad, but poverty ain't that bad. Everybody have it. But poverty, the Bible says, Jesus became poor that you would become rich. And you should never live a life that Jesus paid to get you out of. He's trying to deliver you from poverty. To have the I am that I am. To have Jehovah God as your heavenly father. Abba is the great I am. We are his children and we can declare over our lives that we are who he says we are. Tonight, as I sit by my window, I can hear the rain falling. And as the rain falls, I realize that the Lord is blessing us even right now. The blessings of the Lord are just falling as the rains fall on the earth and waters the earth and brings forth much fruit, the Lord wants to bring forth much fruit in our lives and He is blessing us. As we meditate on His Word and we do what He says, then we will be fruitful and that we will multiply with many blessings. There is a song by Sinesh. It says, I know who God says I am. I am who He says I am, what He says I am. I know who I am. And so I want us to say a couple of I am statements because I believe that it's true that God has said these things about us and that we need to say these things about ourselves as well. I want you to repeat after me. I am wise. I am strong. 
I am prosperous. I am beautiful. I am loved. I am whole. I am blessed. I am chosen of God. I am healed. I am highly favored. I am forgiven. I am saved. I am redeemed. I am the beloved of the Lord. And I am a child of God. As you say these statements and you believe in your heart, so you are. You are these things. You are the beloved of God. And remember that Lady Wisdom says that you are wonderful, you are beautiful, and you are God's gift to the world. So go on out there and shine. Be all that God has called you to be. Live for Jesus. Know that He is your strength and that He's going to be with you and fill your life with joy. Amen? Amen. Remember, whenever you hear the rain falling, that's the blessings of the Lord falling down. Hallelujah. Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe. Join me because we're on a journey to finding out who we are so that we can live and love well. Hallelujah. Discovering ourselves. Living and loving well. Discover you. That's what this channel is all about. Getting to know ourselves and knowing ourselves through wisdom. Knowing ourselves through Proverbs, the Word of God. Hallelujah. And if you um, don't know, Lady Wisdom wants you to know that you are wonderful, you're beautiful, you're God's gift to the world. So go on out there and shine and let the world know that Jesus Christ is Lord. And see you next time on Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. Don't forget... We're going to learn together about our identity in God. Amen. Abba, experience God as Father and redeem your failure, hurt, and pain by Matthew L. Stevenson III. Thank you for revealing God's identity as Abba Father. If you desire a born-again experience and relationship with God, then just pray with me. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins, and right now I ask Jesus to come and sit on the throne of my heart and to be Lord of my life. Amen. Thank you for your support. I really truly appreciate it and if you want more information visit my website ladywisdomspeaksacademy.weebly.com yes my name is Dr. Catherine Constant and I'm the author of the book Lady Wisdom Speaks to learn more about me visit my website ladywisdomspeaksacademy.weebly.com yes I love you be blessed Follow Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy on Facebook and subscribe to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy on YouTube and be blessed.